Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Hawthorne, a cardiologist with the Lankinall Heart Institute. Here at Mainline Health, we are committed to providing the highest quality of care to men and women at all stages of their lives. For optimal cardiovascular health, prevention and screening should start early. So women in their 20s, 30s, and younger stages of life should really start thinking about seeing a primary care provider at least once a year. The goal of these visits should be looking at their overall health, checking your blood pressure, Blood pressure is one of those cardiovascular risk factors that can start early, is often asymptomatic, and you're unaware of it until you have that blood pressure cuff. The other screening things that should happen at each visit is a measurement of your body mass index. A body mass index is a quick calculation based on your height and weight to determine if you're at a healthy weight, overweight, or obese. And again, these are important in thinking about your long-term cardiovascular health and making those changes early. Finally, you have to think about having your fasting cholesterol drawn at least once every five years if everything is normal. And this should start at age 20, according to the American Heart Association. In moving on and thinking about pregnancy, another stage in a woman's life, it's important to recognize that certain complications of pregnancy have long-term cardiovascular risk. Things such as hypertensive disorders of pregnancy like preeclampsia, eclampsia, or even just having high blood pressure during pregnancy predicts an increased risk of cardiovascular events. So it's important for women who have this history to be aware that this is a risk factor as most women are not aware that pregnancy can impact their long-term heart, heart health. Another issue that can occur with, with pregnancy is gestational diabetes. All women should be screened for gestational diabetes around six months of pregnancy. And again, although this often resolves throughout your pregnancy and after delivery, it's important to know that this does play a part as it is an increased risk for future diabetes as well as future cardiovascular risk. As we start to age and think about menopause, it's another stage in a woman's life where we need to shift gears in thinking about our cardiovascular health. With menopause cause, come many changes to a woman's hormone levels, lipid cholesterols are often higher than they were before menopause, often gaining weight, harder to lose weight, blood pressure can rise. So there are many changes that can occur that affect overall cardiovascular health. And although we can't change menopause, it's very important to think about all the things we can change. And throughout any stage in a woman's life, it's important to act on each modifiable risk factor in order to prevent future cardiovascular events. So changing the things that we can affect such as our weight, trying to maintain a healthy weight, working on a little bit of activity every day. The goal from the American Heart Association is 150 minutes of, mo of moderate exercise per week, divided in however you can fit it into your schedule. So it's really important in every stage of life to get active. Focus on healthy foods, limiting the fried foods, the things we all know we should avoid, trying to keep the vegetables half of your plate, Quit smoking if you're a smoker. I think we all know that smoking is, an, is a huge risk factor for heart disease and something we can easily prevent. Get moving. Even a little bit of exercise is better than nothing. And as I mentioned, even if you can't make that 150 minutes, work on a little bit. Limiting alcohol. As women, we should max out at one glass of wine, beer, or uh, alcoholic beverage per day. So try to keep it to that limit. And finally, make sure you're having that regular primary care visit. It's important to see someone regularly who knows you, knows your family history, knows uh, what your risk factors are and can think about everything and tie it together to help you move forward with your uh, best cardiovascular care. As mothers, daughters, wives, or sisters, we play critical roles in our homes, businesses, and communities. It's important to take time for yourself and focus on your own heart health in order to better serve your own families and communities. Myself, along with all of my colleagues at the Lincoln Heart Institute, are proud to partner with the American Heart Association and the Go Red for Women Heart Campaign in ensuring that all women in America have healthy hearts. With any further questions, please feel free to visit MainlineHealth.org and search Women's Heart Initiative.